Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the Iron Curtis United States. Let us continue on from where we at last left off. So, I am thinking that this is probably going to end up being the final episode of this series. Because I, I think we're, like the, the American Focus Tree that doesn't have as much stuff in it as opposed to, let's say, the Soviet Union Focus Tree. Like, Soviet Union Focus Tree, you know, the power struggle just happened. Like, look how large the Soviet Focus Tree is from this point onwards. Like, they got so much stuff in there. So the Soviet Union campaign lasted, you know, quite a long time. But, I mean, what do we have? We have... Uh, let me just scroll out over here. Let me just... Okay, I mean, we have a decent-sized Focus Tree. But, like, we have this little section here... This is all garbage we don't care about. Like, this tree, this whole area is basically already done. This is already all done. This we don't get a choice in. And the Hungarian Revolution, I think, is still years and years away from now. So, like, chances are, like, a lot of stuff we've kind of already done. And other, we, we would just be waiting. And I don't feel like there's a good reason for us to wait for, you know, events in, like, 1955 or 1958 to actually fire. Yeah, Germany's doing some uh, some stuff. Like, I wouldn't mind in the future. Okay, we got a new king of Saudi Arabia. I would definitely not mind in the future doing more playthroughs in this mod. I'm not too sure who else you'd really want to play, though. If you have any suggestions, I would like to uh, hear them in the comments. But again, I'm like, I think this is a good mod. It's definitely top five, for sure. Is there anything we actually need to do? We have modified our government... And we're kind of broke, so there's really not too much we can actually do with that. No template for tank destroyers, don't worry about it. Financial pulse. Yeah, like, most of the stuff, it, does, like, it doesn't really matter. Again, we got a resistance up here, but again, I don't think this is ever actually going to fire in a way that'll uh, happen for us. Okay, so it looks like the Republic of Uganda did end up winning. Of course, they were doing the pro-Western alignment, which is excellent. That's what we want. And we're currently sending troops over to Belgium to help them fight off their uh, small rebellion over here. Because again, we are trying to secure the European position in Africa for as long as we can. Okay, MacArthur had, or McCarthy is deep in army investigation. Then McCarthy started to ask questions the army over the case of Major Irving Pryors. McCarthy knows that the army dentist has been discovered to be a former member of the American Labour Party. He also left his selection of political affiliations blank on his loyalty form. McCarthy wanted to know why it, uh, why it then took the army 90 days to remove the major from the service. Major Paris was granted an honorable separation for a his commanding officer. The army argues they conducted its investigation and process according to procedure, but McArthur declared who prompted Paris. This quote has become a rallying cry for anti-communist and American supporters across the nation. The army is said to be seething. Okay, well, let's follow you up. We've got our label, uh, labor practices. Let's go for the rule of electrician. A program get that done again when will you be there you'll be there on the 8th of this you're actually gonna take a while to get to Belgium but I don't think these these guys here I mean they shouldn't last too too long I mean Belgium has one to three three to five okay Manhattan Rebellion okay let's not worry about that are you at war with Belgium no looks like Belgium's staying out of the war even though you're a puppet, can you not call in your overlord? So apparently you want to align yourself with Portugal. Mass arrest. Deal with the insurgency. I mean, again, we'll, we'll help them with that. Is anyone else around here like you want to kind of influence? I mean, Haiti, we are at 90. Be able to save a 500 political power and maybe at least try to get like one puppet state in here. Now it's December 7th, our units will now, there we go. Wait, did I not, oh yeah, no, they were, I forgot, they rejected the volunteers. Like, why are you refusing them? Because you have reasons to be hostile towards us. I don't think that's true at all. Because it seems like you're going to lose the war against the Democratic Republic of the Congo. That's just my two cents. It really seems like that's the way things are going right now. So I would suggest you maybe uh, reconsider your position. We'll trade more factories with the French. Trading influence is too low. 
No, no, no. Who do we want to trade with? I guess we'll trade with the French. Yeah, no reason to trade with the Soviet Union. They are uh, our enemies here. Okay, let's empower the FDA. I mean, we could theoretically just fight a war goal against them. It'd take 215 days. Which doesn't seem like it would make a ton of sense for us. What is everybody else doing? United Kingdom right now, stimulating household savings. France is currently not doing anything. They might be done their focus stream. Oh no, there you go. Get some autonomy to Tunisia. Does Germany have their own focus tree? Yes, they do. Okay, looks like you're denouncing the Crucified Generals. So again, we're gonna see if Beria or uh, Malikov are able to actually hold control in the Soviet Union. And are you going to, be, to, like, declare yourself to be the Empire of the Rising Sun again? Like, I would definitely be interested in seeing you actually do that. Kind of seeing, like, what, 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 what could possibly happen there, right? I really wish I could send some volunteers here. Because they don't want the volunteers because they're hostile towards me, even though I'm trying to save you. I do not understand. It looks like Izmir and Istanbul has been renamed from the Greeks, so they have now gone with Constantinople and Smyrna. That's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter too, too much. Like, are you still majority Turkish? Primary is Greek, minority is Turkish. Okay. President Koffer empowers the FDA. The United States, the Food and Drug Administration was founded in 1906 to promote public health throughout the regulation of food, safety, and various medical instruments. With laws uh, relating to public health constantly being updated, calls to empower the FDA have intensified since the end of World War II. And following Kiefer's election in the presidency, he has appeared so willing to implement reforms to further expand the FDA's powers. Recently, the president has proposed legislation to radically expand the FDA's authority in f public health affairs, and today the changes have been officially ratified by Congress. With the bill coming into effect the following days, the change will likely be a major factor in the ongoing flight to imp uh, for the improvement of public health, Although the changes have dawned criticism from those arguing against what they perceive to be too much government intervention in the lives of American citizens. Can we now do the... I hate how they throw me over here. Now we gotta push for civil rights first. Push for civil rights and then we'll figure out what the uh, the comic book hearings are. Again, maybe we'll just like ban Marvel in DC. Just, just kick them out of the country forever. Again, Belgium. I, like, I would have sent you troops. Or air forces, or really anything. Okay, position of Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. India's annex some territory. Greater Mongolia. I mean, can you really see territory to Mongolia? I mean, you really didn't have any land yourself, but okay. An Indian annexation of some islands. Don't think that is too important. And Tibet has submitted to the Republic of China. So I'm guessing that means that you are now, yes, you are now a puppet state of China. You've claimed, okay, it looks like you've claimed these islands over here. And we got the Republic of South Sudan and the Arab Republic of Egypt, data annex to the north. I mean, Egypt's looking pretty, pretty powerful right now. It's like, I, w I just wish that the Americans had more content. Like, I, I feel like what we can do is surprisingly limited. Like, a lot of our focus are just locked behind other countries doing events. And I, I feel like we don't really get the opportunity to really push anything, you know what I mean? Like, Indonesia, we have to just wait for this Marian Revolt to happen. With Iran, we just gotta wait for the British to do this. You know, Vietnam, I guess technically this is a bypass because we already helped the French. And support the new regime, I guess we could do that as well. But, like, most of our focuses involving other countries are already done at this point. Which is definitely a little bit disappointing for me. But again, like, the Soviet Union. Like, their their tree is just absolutely massive. They have so many things that they can get done. And it just feels like the Soviets have more influence in the rest of the world than the Americans do. But I'm not too, again, like, I, I, w I would like to play this mod again. I'm not too sure who it would be. President Coffer campaigns for civil rights. The United States, as the Coffer has recently been praised by various civil rights organizations, 
the president is embarking on a massive civil rights campaign, calling for the empowerment of minorities and integration to American society. In a president's speech, Coffer said that it is the obligation of the American people to treat everyone equally regardless of race, religion, sexuality, and other aspects. Judge people solely on the person's character rather than skin color. This, however, has been a backlash by various white supremacist groups throughout the country, condemning his actions and demand an immediate retraction. Okay, follow you up with... Please stop putting me at the very bottom of this list, so I have to keep scrolling over here. The comic book here is Let's Go. Finally. And also, we can now do a coup in Haiti. Hello, Haiti. There we go. We've got this dude in charge. Just some white guys in charge of Haiti now. Excellent. We've got some more research is done. And Haiti is now a loyal puppet state of our country. What do we need to research? Um, we'll take take you. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take these 1950 planes here as well. Where else? I'm assuming we're making some old planes that we probably shouldn't be. Yeah, multi-role fighter, upgrade you, close air support. Are you the close air support? Um, closer is board two. Yes, upgrade you. Excellent. The Army McCarthy hearings. The Army recently accused Senator Joseph McCarthy and his chief counsel, Roy Cohen, of using his position to gain favorable treatment uh, for a former aide who is currently serving as a private. McCarthy condemned the accusation that the incident will be investigated by the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations. The hearing will be broadcast on national television and are expected to last for over a month. McCarthy is confident the hearings will exonerate him, while the Army plans on using this information from a loyal familiar with McCarthy to plan its own strategy. McCarthy must plan his approach carefully. Inconclusive, we question the loyalty. And you know, let's push back against those accusations. How dare you? Yeah, so you prepared the collaboration of this government in two countries. You do not have the network strength. What's our network strength here, then? We have nobody in the country, so I guess that's one reason. Build up the network strength, please, and thank you. And again, I can't... I wish I could, like, kind of go up towards the north, but we really can't do anything about that. Like, what does this do? I mean, you're not really friendlier with us. As far as I can tell. The comic book hearings. The Golden Age of comic books in the United States of America lasts from 1938 to 1945, and its end saw a sharp decline of superhero comics. New genres such as crime and horror comics have sparked outrage with allegations that these comics inspire illegal behavior among minors, known as juvenile delinquency. The United States Senate Select Committee on Juvenile and Juvenile Delinquency is tasked by the Senate to investigate these allegations. The infamous comic book hearings took place on April 21st and 22nd of June 4th of 1954 and had a profound effect on the future comic books. With the taste of graphic images in the comics being brought into question, the publishing of the book Seduction of the Innocent has galvanized public opinion against comic books and have given the industry unfavorable press coverage, effectively forcing them to adopt the comic book authority, forcing self-censorship upon themselves, and, re and resulting in a harsh censorship or even cancellation of many long-standing comic book series. Verification of this are, are yet to be fully felt, felt? <laughs> are yet to be fully felt, but it's already clear that this is a devastating blow to the already struggling American comic book industry. Take that, comics. Okay, let's uh, strengthen consumer laws here. Tunisia has declared in the, well, independence. They're still a puppet of the French, but... At least they're un under a friendly government, which is what we like to see. Hey, Belgium, would you take the um, volunteers now? Still no, even though you are losing the war badly. You would still prefer to be... Even if, and the fighting of Vietnam. I mean, the, the fight, there's no fighting Vietnam. We won already. The Vietnam is over. So what, what else could you possibly want? I mean, it'd be nice if France gives this territory back to Vietnam, but, you know, you can't, can't get everything you want. Okay, you now like me. What are 
of strategic reasons be hostile to us? I don't really know what the, uh, what the reasoning is. I mean, I wish I knew. If I, if I knew, then maybe I could fix her issues. Well, challenges McCarthy. Joseph Now Welch, a man attorney of the army, got into a major spat with Gen Senator Joseph McCarthy during a hearing currently being held. Well, challenged McCoy to provide the list of 130 names of communists or subversives within the defense apparatus that McCarthy claims to have had. Senator McCarthy responded by saying, well, should instead look into his own law firm as Fred Fisher belongs to the Progressive Lawyer Association. Well, provide a strong defense of Fisher. In the end, his passionate response, he said, let us not assassinate this man further, Senator. You've done enough, have you not? Have you no sense of decency? At which the galaxy thundered in applause. This emphasized that the public exposure of open McCarthy of criticism of being bullied. You know, this emphasizes that the public exposure has open McCarthy to criticism of being a bully and have negative publicity. Okay, so looks like McCarthyism is slowly starting to collapse. You have no effect, your research bonus, your industry parks, and you're just political power and stability. I mean, the political power would be nice it allows us to maybe coup another country. But I mean, we have like no political power to actually really do anything of the sort, unfortunately. Yeah, it comes from our protection laws. I guess we will empower Guatemala. Does, how much does Guatemala like us? 83%? Could send them guns. I'm going to send Guatemala some rifles. Maybe they'll be uh, happy with us that way. The end of McCarthyism. The Army McCarthy hearings ended with neither side achieving a victory. If the Army is able to prove Roy Coy had intervened in uh, Army affairs, but Senator McCarthy was exonerated. The Army Secretary was found to have interfered with the recent investigation of the Army Signal Corps Laboratory in New Jersey. However, publicity of the hearings and media coverage has presented the public of a very unpleasant image of Senator McCarthy, may now seem as a bully and a spinner of lies, the reputation of the Senator and his supporters at an all-time low. Oh, McCarthy. Okay, can we still ten? I guess I could theoretically just return I What if we return territory to you? No, it only returns these islands. So you know what? I'm gonna return No, that also only returns these islands as well. Is it this island? Yes. You know what? Screw it. I'll give it to I'll give it to China. Maybe that'll uh, break the game a little bit. And yeah, we're not going to give anything to the Japanese. Independent state of Samoa. Why are they no longer listed? I mean, they still have, they have a core here, right? Yes. Okay, go back up here. Occupy territories. Oh, yeah, because they're down here, right? Return territory. There you go. You can have that that island. And we've launched a does Okay. And we launched an unmanned array into space. Following extensive investment and nationalized space program, SS Coffer has announced a successful launch of an unmanned array into Earth's orbit. With the recent overtures from both the United States of America and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics towards heavy investment of the respective space programs, it is clear that the emerging global space race has spurred on nations from across the world to engage in research and development of space technology and science. While the success of the current program might seem rudimentary in nature, clearly it is only beginning of a new entry in the global space race, and more investment in the American space program is all but assured for the future. There we go. We have done it. We've gotten the space for the Soviet Union. And like, what else, what else could you possibly want? We're, we beat the Reds. We're in space first. You love to see it. And we're about to empower Guatemala. And I do think, with getting our first satellite into space, is going to be a good time to end this episode. And I think a, a good time to also end this series here. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now do it, click thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.